Hello, I'm Cubitech and this is another update for my Cubitech mod. I added a few things and I fixed a few things and I thought I would go over those uh, in this video. So first I've added a server tick counter and a client tick counter. Now these increment at the very start of the corresponding tick uh, from the time that I enter the world. And yeah. So they run a little bit asynchronous, which is interesting and means that you have to be a little bit careful about whether you're talking about server ticks or client ticks when uh, analyzing timings. But yeah, and then I've also changed that you... Oh, first I've changed the rendering uh, um, for entities and blocks and everything. Uh, before there was sometimes uh, some jittering happen uh, happening because uh, the game was trying to interpolate between well where things would be between ticks and that just didn't work out very well because I'm I've got uh, different tick speeds running at the same time for the player in the world I come to that in a bit again but yeah uh, let me just get rid of all these bounding boxes. <laughs> so, the another new thing is that I can actually change the tick rate to zero to freeze the world completely and I can unfreeze the world uh, even um, yeah, at any time. So I can actually freeze the world then at another point between ticks which is uh, very handy and wasn't possible before because I had to wait until a tick has passed for the server before anything processes and obviously that would be infinitely long for when the tick rate is zero and uh, now what I do is that I essentially um, process things that happen in the chat immediately so yeah okay now the world is essentially frozen and I can actually talk about a little bit about how I'm actually moving about because you will notice that the client and the server are both frozen. So what I do is that my uh, that I wrote a player tick so a tick f that is a specific to the player and runs at 20 Hertz and yeah and allows me to interact and move about, uh, interact with the world, move about and do whatever the player does. Uh, while the world, uh, both, cli uh, both client and server are both frozen. And that means I can do things like this and the uh, and look at some bugs that usually are less than one tick uh, in duration. So yeah. And another thing would be that I can go to the edge of the world, similar to Sharia's mod. The server doesn't um, provide any chunks because obviously the server doesn't do anything anymore. And I can move about. But uh, the game does not dump the chunks anymore from memory. Like, uh, because the uh, client obviously is frozen as well and can't dump any of the memory. And now if I go here to the edge of the world, then I would just have to do refresh the rendering by pressing F3A, which would usually reload the chunks as well, but that doesn't happen now. And yeah, I can see everything again, or everything, uh, all the chunks that are loaded in the memory of uh, the server. And another thing I wanted to show is just, if I place a block outside, whoops, outside or inside these chunks that don't exist for the server then I can just update this and then you can see it but if I now press F3A again and you see that all these or the block will appear in every chunk that is outside this border now something very similar happens in uh, tests ghost mode so test showed a very weird ghost mode where the server sort of is frozen but a lot of things still work 
and it is very interesting but essentially at the end edge of the world something very similar to this happens now these blocks aren't really there in the sense that if you relog obviously these blocks disappear while the original block stays uh, but they have pretty much all the properties that a normal rock has I can break it and then it is gone but it is visually still there yeah and um, if I now start the or set the tick rate back to 20 then I will teleport to the play uh, uh, very close or to the same location where I placed the block um, outside the world and now I'm lost I think it's this way but yeah I think that was mostly it I can just uh, wrap off uh, do something ridiculous and say uh, 80 ticks for now just to because I don't think anything higher would render really in or would be visible in the world and very loud <laughs> and it's funny <laughs> to watch but I think my game f handles up to 250 ticks uh, per second ah. and if you see here in the server uh, it is actually uh, my game just about keeps up well the the server doesn't uh, uh, usually uh, if you g I go would go any higher then the server would uh, trail behind yeah and if I know yeah if, if I go even higher maybe it becomes visible so let's go a hun uh, thousand and you can see that the client actually goes higher oh and the thunderstorm and ridiculous speeds <laughs> well I thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in another video bye bye